On for Philadelphia in this one, Tyler Phillips. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. Leading off the I've just been so impressed game. with when it the seems right like game. there's more Allen. pressure, he's Allen. more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Stott over to first in time. One up, one down. As we take a look now at the New York Yankees lineup. This has been a good productive lineup so far this year. Currently ranking among the better teams in terms of total hits and runs per game. Well, you know this lineup sees it as very important to put the ball in play, Boog. I mean, this is an age where strikeouts are up so high and guys are swinging and missing going for the fences, but you can increase that contact rate. You can be a dangerous club. You get more guys on base, and then all of a sudden, when that big swing comes through, you're plating more runs. So we'll see if this pitcher can get some soft contact. Let the defense work behind it. That's ball and another ball. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Two outs, bases empty. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. Bounce to the right side. Fires oh. over to first. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. We're midway in inning number one. No score. Back here with my pal Singy and our pitcher in this game Nestor Cortez Jr. And Chris pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him. Yeah and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road. Sometimes you know it's just a matter of luck. It's not having a feel difference between the bullpen Lee mound to the mound Lee. out there on the That's playing field. Easy. Don't know what it is right. but I know this. He's got good Whoa. enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home. So we'll see what he's able to do in this one. In the air to left center. Soto gets under it. He makes the grab. And there's one away. And time now for the Phillies lineup. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Trey Turner. Tops on the team in batting average, Boog. A guy who's showing off some excellent bat-to-ball ability when he digs in at the plate. You know, that's useful if your team needs to get an inning going, get a leadoff man on, but it's also incredible to have a guy like that in the lineup because he's a run producer who can drive that's in cool. runs if you've got guys on base already. So he's a huge piece in this lineup. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Three and one. Three really close one pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. And the three one. Yeah. And a swing and a miss there. Three ball, two strike. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. This ball's chopped on the ground. In plenty of time to first, and they get Turner for the out. That is third. The first base. And now here is Harper. He's a left-handed batter who still comes up with good contact and a good average against left-handed pitchers. Two down, nobody on. Fastball for a strike. All right, so you hit lefty. What makes it so hard to face a left-handed pitcher? Left-handers, they just seem to have different arms. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down, one, two, three. Down quickly, go the Phillies. Scoreless after one. Here, Citizen Bank Park. And now the catcher the comes up to him. Austin Wells. Austin Wells. 
On a line out towards center. Falls it in and there's one away. That is it. The second base. Labor. Labor Torres up to hit. This is a batter who clearly performs better in day games. I don't know why, but his numbers generally back it up. Next offering is in for a strike. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Gets the out. Oh. Two down after the strikeout. Batting fifth. The designated hitter. Up to the plate steps DJ LeMayhew. Next yep, pitch is outside. Two outs. And that skips into dirt. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. A nice job of going the other way. So up next, Anthony Volpe. To third. Boom. Out number three. The Yanks leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And we're back. Here's the third baseman, Alec Bohm. The third baseman, Alec Bohm. Pitch. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. And that one almost hit him. And he deals. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. And Out another board. ball. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. Now a great back and forth and that at bad. He had to play off some really, really close really. pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. And that's strike two. One ball. Boom. Two strikes. Gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Here's a one two. Stays alive. Fights that one away, still one and two. The pitch. And that one ripped to left. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. One down. Batting foot. The designated hitter. Brandon. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. And a pitch. Swing and a pop-up. Judge has it sized up. He's there. He's got it. And there's two away. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well. And that's what the caused him to pop it up. Nick, Nick Castellanos at the plate now. And a pitch. Left field. Soto gets under it and makes the grab. And that is the third out of the inning. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and one left on base.
We head on now to the top of the third. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. All set for the Leading start of the inning. Game. And now the center the fielder, fielder, Trent, Trent Grisham. Trent Grisham. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball. a little bit out of his own right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Oswaldo Cabrera stepping in now for the Yankees. The 1-1 is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Not close with that one, and it's two and two. Top of the third, no score. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it. Here's Alex Verdugo. Left-hand batter waits. And now one and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. Ball Pitch two. misses. And yeah, that's ball two. Man at first, one away. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That's back there. And forget it. He sends it out of here. His 11th of the year. And just like that, they're out front. It's 2-0. Pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. So one out, nobody on. And up next for New York, Juan Soto. Swings through that one out in front that one time. One ball, two strikes. And the pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. Still only one out here in the inning. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Here comes Aaron Judge. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces oh, solid right. contact consistently. So Chris, oh, through the early right stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper hey. into this game. Judge comes up empty okay. there. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, it doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't boom. Throws out of first, judge out of the play. And that'll do it. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a two-nothing ball game. You're dialed into the show. Back here in Philadelphia, now it's the second baseman, Bryson Stock. And now the lefty. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. And there's one down. 
Lefties can definitely be a little pull happy up there, especially with Batting pitches up. that they see pretty no well. Left. That was a good example. He oh, hooked an outside pitch, hit that ball hey. near to right, just not with much authority. The Phillies down by a pair here in the last half of the third. In the air, left field down the line. Soto makes the grab. That's out number two. Now got it. Center fielder, Kyle. Kyle. Back to the top of the lineup. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Two down, nobody on. And Whoa, another ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a three up, three down inning. Phillies down in order. They trail it here, two nothing. Out of the fourth. So now the Yankees clean up here. Austin Wells. Austin and Wells. Ball to strike. The pitch. That one fouled off. Righty delivers. Foul ball still a one and two count. And here it comes. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Here's Glaber Torres. The second base. Love Labor. coming to Citizens Bank Park. Cool. Best ice cream in all of the league at the press level. It's only been around since 2004, but plenty of awesome history here already. It's the only hey. stadium with multiple postseason no hitters. Remember Roy Halladay did it back in 2010, and the Houston Astros threw a combined no no in game four of the 2022 World Series. Hey. He goes down looking. Clearly looking out over the plate on that outer third, and that pitch finished right down the middle, just a little bit in, and he couldn't pull the trigger. Two outs, base is empty. DJ LeMayhew now at the plate. Two outs. On the ground to the left. Trey Turner gloves it. Tosses across the first, and the Yanks go quietly. Yanks held in check as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. Back here in Philadelphia, down the number two hitter, Trey Turner. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. Got him. And one out now. Well, I can't argue with that one, and clearly he was looking for something else. Anything but the breaking ball. It's a great pitch to hit right there if you're looking for it. And kind of a gift at a two strike count, but sometimes you just get fooled and you got to tip your cap. Just off the outside edge. That one misses, and that's ball three. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three one count, be ready to turn on a fastball. Swings and misses, and the count's full. Rip to third. Whips it across. Oh. And that quickly two away. Now have the third baseman. Alec. Boom. And now it's Alec Bohm. The Yanks up by two. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Oh. And there's a ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. 
no doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Two down, nobody on. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. And they're down 2 nothing. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. And the batter will be the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. The wind of the pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And the righty deals. Pitch misses. And the count's even at two. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Colby Allard up and throwing. Hoffman also getting ready. Out to short. Trey Turner gloves it. On to first. Oh. One away here in the fifth. Now back at the center field. Trent Grisham. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. Outside low, and it's two and one. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. Ground ball left That's side, ball. and it goes just foul. The punch out there. Picks up strikeout number seven. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same now, page now, right now. Third base, Osvaldo Cabrera. Two outs, base is empty. Oswaldo Cabrera stepping in now for the Yankees. Hit hard, that gets through. Well, a swing like that can now, help now. you come out when, of the struggle. We saw now, the numbers now. coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Back to the top of the Yankee order. Now it's the right fielder, Alex oh. Verdugo. And another ball. Out to short, Turner. They get the force, and the inning is over. So one hit is all they get. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Yankees two, and the Phillies nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chabby with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, JT Real Muto. Three one now. There's a strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Three two. On its way to the corner. Verdugo tracks it down for the out. Now, Brandon Marsh stands in for the Phillies. The Phillies hitless so far in the game. And that one clips the corner. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Mark there, two and two. One down, base is empty. 
And now the count filled up three and two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. One out. Base is empty. On the ground, out to short. Rolls across the diamond. He didn't make things easy for him there, but they still get the out. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. He's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. To the right side. Torres fires over to first. And Castellanos is out. And that is that. Phillies go down quietly in the inning. They trail things here 2-0. the bullpen for the Phillies Colby Allard on for his major league debut and a moment he will never forget better believe that it's always so special the first time you get into a big league ball game I did it as a position player but for him as a pitcher I'm sure there's some nerves there probably don't want to squeeze the baseball too tight just relax and do what you're capable of doing the wind of the pitch Clips the corner, and it's one and two. One well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for hitters to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. Next nope. pitch is outside. Ground ball to the right side. Throws to first. They get the out on Soto. The first base is number 99, Aaron. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. There's a 1 1. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Some bullpen action for Philadelphia. Junior Marte, the young right hander, up and throwing. One down, base is empty. Up and ball in, three. ball two. Two balls, two strikes. Wouldn't chase that time. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top half of the sixth. Fights it off, you'll see another. The pitch. And he hits a ground ball right side. Harper oh. takes it to the bag. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. No, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Oh, Got okay. out in front a little bit, rolled over the on it, and beat it into the ground. Austin. Two outs, base well. is empty. Austin Wells stepping in now for the Yankees. Two outs, base is empty. Pitch is in there. It's a ball in two strikes. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing doing here this half. Eight, nine, one scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Yankees two and the Phillies nothing. This is Bryson's stop. His split numbers between June and July there. In the air, left side. One away. 
Now back. No left here. Austin. Austin. And now it's Austin Hayes. Hey. The Yankees trying to protect a two-run lead here in the bottom of the sixth. Torres. Not in He's time. In He's safe. Not every base hit is a liner into the gap, just like not every strikeout's a perfect slider down and away. I mean, right there, he just put the ball in play on the ground and gave it his all to get down to first for the knock. So the lineup flips over, and now for the Phillies, Kyle Schwarber. And the pitch. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Lead runner around second to third. The tag out. In this situation with the single in right field, runner and first cannot try to make it to third. You've got to get back into this ball game, and every base runner counts. Trey Turner at the plate. At the belt and finals. Swing and a ball hammered left field. Soto moving back for him. Stretches out and hauls it in. Oh, man, amazing catch to end the inning. As a former outfielder, I'm feeling proud right now. Saw the wall, didn't get afraid, held on to the ball. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Jeff Hoffman. And this is appearance number 45. Now pitching for the Phillies, number 23. Jeff. Jeff. Oh, oh, Here's Glaber Torres. The second base. Glaber Torres. Here comes a pitch. Glaber gets a piece one and two. Kicks and fires. Fights that one away, still one and two. And another ball. And downstairs. Three balls, two strikes to count. Great. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit. And he deals. Just oh, missed. One down, base is empty. And it's even up. Two balls, two strikes. This one chopped up the middle. High throw to first, and he can't reach it. That's a case where he just pushed the throw a little bit, didn't stay on top of it, didn't find the release point, and it gave him no chance at first base to come down with it. I know he won't be happy with himself on that one. Runner on at first with one gone. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. One ball, two strikes. LeMayhew over at first with one away. The shortstop takes the ball. Hammer down the line, and now maybe extra bases. LeMayhew on his way to third. He's in at second with a one-out double. 
Everything came together for him. Oh, Push that one down the line for extra bases, and that was an excellent job going with the pitch on the outside. Got his bat on plane and just drove it. One down, and next for New York, Trent Grisham. Two on, one out. That one missed. Here's the sack fly situation, and he's got to make sure he gets the ball out over the plate and get those arms extended. They're trying to crowd him with the infield in. This would be a big pickoff if he can push a run across. Still two and two after the foul ball. The healthy cut, tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. And Three there's two. the ball. Three. And down on strikes. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. Oh, you can't be mad at yourself oh, after an at bat like oh, that oh, one. Oh, oh, oh. And now Cabrera. it's switch hitting third baseman Oswaldo Cabrera. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Two outs, two in scoring position. And now two and one. He's got a base open, so the pressure to come in and really attack this hitter, not as great as it would be if the bags were sacked. And this one could be extra bases. One runs in. Another comes in to score. And they're up by four. Safe at second with a double. Third hit for him this afternoon. Well, he delivers in a huge spot right there. Well, he's so dialed in. I don't think he even realizes how much pressure exists out there. Very easy swing, nice and relaxed. This is the type of approach you know. Well, Ryan Kirkery on the pitch here. He's been so good against lefties. Now the right fielder, Alex Verdugo. His two-run homer back in the third was an important swing of the bat in this one. Yeah, there's no doubt he helped set the tone fairly early and certainly part of the reason why they've got the lead right now. Man at second. Clips the corner and the count one and two. hit to third gets it to first that ends the inning and they limit the damage but they'll pick up a couple runs here both coming on this two run double it's now a four nothing ball game you're watching major league baseball exclusively on the show bottom of the inning here's harper now the Phillies in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. That one fouled off two and two. The pitch. Swings and misses, struck him out. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. The Phils down by four here at the bottom of the seven. Two and balls, another ball. Strike. Next hey. offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. Inside, just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. 
Line drive, and it stays fair. And that rolls into the corner. Makes the turn and heads for second. Verdugo quickly throws it in. And they hold him at second. Maybe this is going to be the moment they start the comeback. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Nestor Cortez Jr. gives way. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Pitching change here, Luis Heal. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. The pitch. Ripped on a line to center. Grisham on the move, and he hauls it in, two down. The bat, the, the designated hitter, Brandon Marsh. Brandon Marsh will hit next. This kid picked up in a trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but he's got a real high ceiling. Man on second, two down. That's, That's down ball. and in. These fans, they two are. Up. Ready to cheer about something. Action in the pen down there. Jake Cousins getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Number 50 getting loose as well. The pitch. That that's one misses. And that's ball three. Yeah. Big swing and a miss. Wow. Good Hell luck four. catching up to that one. Boom. Stands at second with two gone. Outside, and that is ball four. The right number eight. First and second, two down. Nick Castellanos stands in for the Phillies. Right hander kicks deals. And now the count is full. And another power hitter lurking in the on deck circle. Battling here as he fouls it away. First and second, two down. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating oh, opportunities, oh, and this is one of them right here. They turn things over to the southpaw, Caleb Ferguson. Well, no margin for error in terms of throwing strikes with the bases loaded. Just has to execute one pitch at a time to try to get out of this. Base is full, two gone. Here's the second baseman, Bryson Stock. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Cabrera drifts towards it, makes the play, and it's out number three. Tidy work out of the Yankee bullpen there. Eighth inning coming up. The Yankees four and the Phillies nothing. Back here in Philadelphia, here's Juan Soto. The left field, number 22. Juan Soto. He swings and fouls one off. Left hand hitter waits. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. No, no, no. Here is Aaron Judge. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. Next pitch is outside. outside. 
And That's another ball. ball. Three balls, one strike. And the right handers 3 1. That clips the corner. Base is empty, one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. Well, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him up. And it's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. Real Muto to first. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. So they make short work of him there. Last half of the eighth coming up. The Yankees four and the Phillies nothing. On to the bottom of the eighth and digging in for Philadelphia, Austin Hayes. That two one balls, misses one and it's two and one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen, Jake Cousins preparing to come on if needed. Number 50 also throwing. Wouldn't That's chase three. that time. Three balls, one strike. Fastball hey. for a strike. Helpful. Gets a piece and stays alive. And now the lefty swings and misses. One gone in the bottom of the eighth. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. So the batting order turns over. Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Fouls it off, still one and two. The Yanks leading by four here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Out towards right center field. Grisham settles under this one. Two away. The batter number seven. Here's Trey Turner. Turner. Two outs. And yep. that's a little high. Two one. That one the other way. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that's the third out. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Ninth inning coming up. The Yankees four and the Phillies nothing. All set to start the ninth in this one. And stepping in for the Yankees, Glaber Torres. And a pitch. In the dirt, and it's two and two. Up the middle, and that chance handled. And the leadoff oh. man retired here in the ninth. The bat, the designated hitter, DJ LeMahieu. And now it's DJ LeMahieu digging in. The wind and the pitch. Outside, that's a ball. Swing and a miss. And now two and two. One of those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming.
And the right hander deals. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Up Two outs, base is empty. And up next for New York, Anthony Volpe. I would say the game's close right now, but it's not out of reach either. I mean, these guys really need to put up a zero on the board just to maintain a little hope. Well, the shortstop the takes a ball. And he chases that one. And the Yanks go quietly. Three up, three down for him there. High to the order. Three, four, five will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. The Yankees four and the Phillies nothing. Number 50 comes on now. And he's been racking up strikeouts at a high rate this year. Typically at least one an inning. So he'll be tough to get to. Three, four, five do up for the home team. And now it's going to be Bryce Harper. Harper. The one, two. Got him. And now just two outs away. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after now this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. And here it comes. Liner, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. JT Real Muto steps in. JT Real Muto. That one missing inside. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch. Tailing away from the hitter. Mowing away with some good, good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. I tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. Righty delivers. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Ball game. A win on the last day of the month. You close it out with the W, but you want to carry that momentum into the next game. A 4 0 shutout in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long.